Hi, my name is Devin, thermographer here at T Equipment, and today we're going to be talking about thermal emissivity and how it affects your measurements. I've got my FLIR E95 camera and a little, little demo here I'll show you in just a minute. But first, let's talk about the theory of emissivity. So, when you use a thermal camera, what you're looking at isn't exactly the temperature. You're looking at all of the thermal radiation coming off of that object. So, in an ideal circumstance, that object would be what's called a black body. So, a black body perfectly emits 100% of the radiation in the thermal long wave bandwidth according to its surface temperature. So there's the Stefan Boltzmann law where T to the fourth is proportional to an object's surface temperature. And that's great. That's the physics that underpins all of our non-contact thermal imaging. But in the real world, not, I shouldn't say not everything, nothing is a perfect black body. We actually use uh, approximations for what are called gray bodies. And the way we do that is by adjusting a parameter called emissivity. You've probably seen this on your cameras. It's a little squiggly E epsilon. And most cameras are set to emissivity 0.95. And so what that means is that the camera assumes 95% of the radiation that it's looking at is related to the surface temperature of the object. So that's great for objects that are pretty good emitters. And those are things that are black, matte surfaces, um, you know, oxidized metals, black electrical tape, uh, and a bunch of other standard materials. But if you have an object that isn't a good emitter, that reflects more radiation than it emits, then you're going to run into problems getting an exact measurement. Now, here, I've got my shiny metal tumbler. And this, as you'll see, is not a good emitter. Let's take a look and see how that affects our measurements. Now, I, I went ahead and put some hot water in this little thermometer. See, we've got 122 degrees F. Let's see what the thermal camera says. I'm going to focus in here. As you can see, you can already tell that there are a lot of reflections on this. I can see my own, my own reflection, my own heat signature. So the thermal camera is telling me that this is 90 degrees F. That's not great. So what we want to do in cases where we're looking at shiny metal is create a little target spot. And here, I've added some black electrical tape. And if I look at just that spot, wow, that is a lot brighter. I can already see that it's not severely affected by reflections, certainly not like the metal. And it's giving me a reading of 121 degrees F, which is exactly in line with our contact measurement. Say we didn't have a contact measurement all the time. What, what would we do? Well, we'd go on camera and go to our measurement parameters and change the emissivity. So we started at 0.95, right? I'm trying to get to 121. Right now I'm looking at 78. So as you see, as I go down, We're getting higher and higher temperature measurements. We're probably looking for most shiny metals at an emissivity around 0.15. That's what the book says anyway. But as you can see, as I go across that reflection, I had a huge variation of temperature. So the best thing to do is to get a target. Get a piece of black electrical tape, maybe paint a little spot on the device you're trying to measure. Not all cases that's able to be done, but if you're looking to get an exact temperature measurement, you don't want to use a poor emitter because 
as you can see, just with those reflections from, from the room here, it's not like we have a lot of, a lot of heat sources. I don't have a big boiler behind me or a hot electrical panel. Well, that one, but it's pretty low power. The variation in temperature, the error when you're looking at emissivities below 0.7 is going to be an extreme factor in your final number. So while it's good for qualitative, comparative uh, measurements when you're doing thermal imaging, you're not going to get a good number. Anyway, thanks so much for watching our video on emissivity. Again, my name's Devin, thermographer here at T-Equipment, and please give us a call. We'd be happy to talk to you about any of your thermal imaging needs.